Bitcoin rallied up 26% over the last 30 days on news that BlackRock has filed for a Bitcoin spot ETF alongside a crypto exchange. This is part of the reason why I believe Bitcoin is ahead of a raging bull market. Now, Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, who has $10 trillion at his fingertips. Now, after watching this interview on Fox News with Larry Fink, Larry had to sign off on Bitcoin, right? But not only has he signed off on it, He's a full on believer. He's talking about digitizing assets. He is fully on board with the decision. Larry Fink has drank the Kool-Aid. He's not just pontificating an idea that Bitcoin will grow over time or number go up. He's talking about digitizing assets. Before we get into that interview, let's just do a replay on Larry Fink from 2013. Check out this article. So in 2013, Larry Fink calls Bitcoin the index for money laundering. Now fast forward to 2023, and let's take a look at what he's talking about here. Specifically on, on Bitcoin, as I've said in the past, um, we're a believer in digitization of, of, of products. Um, you know, ETFs was a big revolution from the mutual fund industry and it's really taking over the mutual fund industry and we do believe that if we can create uh, 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 more tokenization of assets and securities and that's what bitcoin is uh, it could revolutionize again uh, finance and so we look at this as, a, as an opportunity to move one step further in terms of uh, providing uh, investors um, uh, you know, fractions of shares, fractions of this, democratizing the cost of investing. So what did he just say? He said that BlackRock revolutionized the financial world with ETFs. He said ETFs are taking over mutual funds. He said tokenizing financial assets will revolutionize finance again. So in general, what did he say? Hey, hey, we revolutionized the, the finance in industry with ETFs. And now Bitcoin is going to revolutionize the ETF or the finance industry. And they want to be a part of it. Now, let's take a look at this next clip. It's heavily used for, let's say, illicit activities. Um, and I think as it became more accessible, and also I do believe the role of crypto is... Um, it is, it, it is, it's digitizing gold in many yeah. ways. It's a, it's a, instead of investing in gold as a hedge against inflation, a hedge against the, uh, the onerous problems of any one country or, or, the, or the devaluation of your currency, whatever country you're in, um, let's be clear, Bitcoin is an international asset. It's not based on any one currency. And so it, it, it can represent an asset that people can play but, as an alternative. I would call, the, the foundation of BlackRock is about hope. He talks about Bitcoin digitizing gold. He says it is an international currency and he compares Bitcoin to hope. Now, anybody watching this interview should think Larry Fink is really a believer in Bitcoin. And here's why I'm making this video today. After watching Larry Fink, I am not doubting his sincerity. I've been saying it all along. The banks are going to figure it out. They're going to have to buy Bitcoin or they're screwed. So some people want to learn 12 words and store Bitcoin on a hard wallet. Most people don't. Kind of like the people who want to buy gold and bury it in their backyard. That's me, right? Most people don't want to do that. And a vast majority of people, they just can't figure out Bitcoin. So ETFs are going to give them access to Bitcoin. So here are all the companies that are applying for a Bitcoin ETF. You have BlackRock, Wisdom Tree, Galaxy Digital, Valkyrie, Bitwise, Fidelity, Vanek, and lo and behold, ARK Invest, Kathy Wood. Yep. So BlackRock has an army of advisors that are all paid commissions to push BlackRock's products. They have models that will incorporate the Bitcoin ETF as a diversification. And BlackRock is already a well-known issuer of ETFs for fiduciary-based advisors. And they already trust the Black 
BlackRock name. Now there are two main ETF providers or issuers out there. There's iShares, that's BlackRock, and you have Vanguard. They make up 65% of all the funds that go into ETFs. And guess what? Two thirds of all the money in America goes into those ETFs. So again, BlackRock has the biggest financial distribution network in the world. $30 trillion worth of asset managers that are all gonna be able to buy Bitcoin for the very first time with the click of a button. So my point here is that whether or not the ETF gets approved doesn't matter. What matters is the hype surrounding the narrative is enough to likely carry Bitcoin another 50% higher from where we're at today. I want you to look at one last thing here. Here is a graph of the gold ETF. When the gold ETF was first launched, gold was roughly $400. It rallied to $1,900 in just a couple years. That was after all the demand was hinged on the gold spot ETF. So this could be, again, a catalyst to push Bitcoin much, much higher. In fact, crypto Twitter says the day the Bitcoin ETF gets approved, the price will quadruple. So I think America has two choices right now. One is approve the Bitcoin spot ETF, or two is they will lose this revolutionary technology, they will stifle innovation, and they will cause a flight of capital out of America that will be catastrophic to America's position as the global economic superpower. That's why I think this is gonna be the greatest buy the rumor, sell the news opportunity of the year. And now I believe this is the time to buy. Buy before the hype, before the mania, before Bitcoin makes new all time highs, and most importantly, before the Bitcoin spot ETF gets approved. Now, August 12th is the deadline. That is the date where the SEC has to approve, deny, or postpone the ETF. So putting a little gasoline fire under your pants here, I wanna get you started. Here at Bitcoin Advisors, we've been helping people buy Bitcoin within their IRA or non-IRA taxable account for the last five years. We make it so easy to buy, so easy to sell. All you gotta do is pick up the phone and call somebody in America who can answer your questions. Yes, you call me and say sell, and you don't have to worry about remembering 12 words or putting your Bitcoin on a hard wallet or typing the wrong button or sending your Bitcoin to the wrong address. We have a simple, safe, insured, custodian kingdom trust where your assets will be held. Yes, you get to own your own Bitcoin. We're just a Bitcoin coach here to help you come up with an investment strategy that fits your needs when it comes to cryptocurrency. So by the time your financial advisor has five years of experience of selling Bitcoin, then you might be able to ask him a question and get a knowledgeable response. If you want a knowledgeable response now, who's already been trading Bitcoin for the last five years successfully for his clients, well, then that's when you reach out to us. There's a link in the description below. It has our free Bitcoin investor guide. I hope you take a minute and get it. It's free. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and click on the next video if you want to learn about why the Bitcoin halving could provide the rocket fuel for Bitcoin to really skyrocket next year by clicking on this video. If you wanna learn about how Bitcoin is dematerializing gold, we'll click on this video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you have yourself a blessed day.